Hello everyone, Fre <laughs> Freddie and I just came from the rental car place. Freddie, how long were we in there for? Like 35 minutes. <laughs> it took way Maybe too long. long time. Yeah, so we're running a little late this morning, but we're in the CBD picking up the cars and then we're driving back up to the hostel to pick everyone up and load the cars. I'm in the rental car. Um, a little goal I had for myself was record a little video on the tram to get to, to the rental cars, but it was Thursday morning rush hour at 9 a.m. There is no way I'm recording something on the tram. And you know how morning rush hour is. Everyone's quiet, no one's talking, it was a packed tram. Way too awkward, way too self-conscious about it. Maybe give me a few months and maybe I get there, but I was not, you know, I'm trying to not care about what other people think, but that was way too much for me. The rental car is big eight seat minivan and it's on the right side of the vehicle. So that's the left side of the car and this is the right hand side. So it's gonna be a struggle all day long to get used to the left side of the road and then windshield wipers are on the left hand side, clickers or blinkers on the right, so I'm gonna put on a lot of windshield wipers today. Never drive in the city, ever. We've arrived at Wilson's Prom. We're on a little wildlife walk right now. Yesterday, I talked about how I was nervous for, you know, renting a car, and I rented it. Going through the CBD, the center of the city, up to the hostel was just so stressful. There were so many cars, traffic. I didn't know the road signs at all, and there's trams in the Melbourne, so I was trying to navigate that. But, you know, you start going, you kind of figure it out, and then when I arrived at the hostel, I was like, oh, I'm ready to go, you know, and ready for the adventure to start. Right now, we're looking for wildlife, so kangaroos. We saw one wallaby so far, looking for wombats or anything. I think we found a wallaby. An action step for you is when you think of doing something scary, it's uncomfortable and throughout the day or a couple hours, you're kind of like worried about it or, you know, anxiety, but it all works out in the end and it's usually not as bad as you make it out in your mind. Let me know in the comments what you, what situation you put yourself that made you a little uncomfortable and how bad was it really? Cheers. So, as, as you can see, shit happens, <laughs> but unfortunately, it always happens when you're on the peak of emotions. <laughs> you have to jump at like the most beautiful swim ever, and now we are, yeah. No, no. Today's video was supposed to be about how before you do something uncomfortable and, you know, you go out of your comfort zone, you feel a little bit of anxiety, you think of worst case scenarios and everything that could go wrong. And it was supposed to be about how you do it and you feel that, you know, that nagging feeling, but you get through it and nothing really bad happens. But then, you know, <laughs> the flat tire, it sucked. We spent half an hour fixing it. Big shout out to Freddie for doing the majority of the work. But, you know, it, we fixed it and we got through it. It was just like a half an hour of just kind of being really annoyed. Um, and worst case scenario, we would have called roadside assistance, but got taken care of. And an action step for you is, you know, things happen, but like that could have been, that's pretty much the worst case scenario is like something happens. Thankfully, we were already at the campsite, so, it didn't happen, you know, in the middle of, like, the, on the side of the highway. But, you know, we, we made it through. So, go out and don't be afraid to do something a little scary and know that at the end of the day, you'll be alright. Cheers.